Hello everyone. Today we will solve the paper of WP SETCL. Uh, the test date is 14th March. We already solved the 15th March paper. So in this paper also some mostly questions are theoretical question in which you have to only read. So start with the first question. This is the uh, morning time paper. Okay. In 14th March two papers are there okay morning and afternoon and evening i think also is there okay so first question is here what should be the length of the span for the sanitary wire on a single load in traction so it varies from 45 meter to 90 meter okay for a single loop application on the traction purpose Next question is that find the force. So you know the formula of force, which is a relation with the charges, okay, and the relation with distance. The formula becomes the f equals to 9 into 10 to the power 9 q1 q2 upon d square. So this is the basis formula you already study in uh, your 11th, 12th class, also in uh, physics and also in the basic electrical and electronics engineering so the next question is that a 40 kva single phase transformer has 400 tons on the primary and 100 tons on the secondary the primary is connected to triple to zero volt 50 hertz supply determine the maximum value of flux so what we have to do here we know the formula of emf that emf is the 4.44 fn phi m okay we know that and here what we have to do that we have to find the flux so from this formula emf formula we have to find the flux so e upon 4.44 f into n1 so all values are given already here like uh, primary voltage triple to zero volt primary turns are 400 so all values kept on the formula you will get the answers 0 0.025 Weber next question which of the following statements is true for E MOSFET okay so D and E MOSFETs are there okay so here you can see easily two basic types of MOSFET depletion and enhancement by TOSFET or we can say that D type of MOSFET or E type of MOSFET. So the question arises here that D MOSFET can be operated in both the depletion and the enhancement mode. Okay. And E MOSFET are restricted to only operate in the enhanced mode. Why this could be happen? Because uh, the difference is there in their physical construction. This is the D type of MOSFET. You can see here easily that uh, here is a physical channel is there in a D type of MOSFET okay between the source and the drain terminals but when we see that enhancement type MOSFET there is not a physical area okay so no such uh, physically channel is there okay it only depends on the gate voltage to form a channel between source and drain. So the answer is here that E MOSFET is only capable of operating only in the enhancement mode. Next question is that find the phase difference of two signals which produces the above Lissagius figure in the CRO. So various Lissagius patterns are there like 0 to 360 degrees this okay 30 degree or 330 degree okay they are asking the 30 degree or 330 degree so the diagram is here for the 30 degree next is 45 degree and 315 degree next is 60 degree and 300 degree so here 90 degree to 270 degree 120 degree to 240 degree 150 degree to 210 degree and last is 180 degree 
so these all are the angles of the lesagius pattern or we can say that so many figures of the lesagius pattern they can ask uh, anyone from these in the next examinations also so next question is what is not true for a hydroelectric power plant so we can say that high cost of transmission so we can say that only the hydroelectric power plant which have a less cost of transmission only the um, planting cost is more for the hydroelectric power plant but the operating cost is less next question you can see that the two capacitors having capacitance of 6 microfarad and 10 microfarad respectively are connected in series across a 320 volt supply find the potential difference across the 6 microfarad capacitor so what you have to do that uh, you have to apply only the voltage division rule across the capacitors so 320 into 10 upon 6 plus 10 which is 16 which is becomes the 200 volt you have to learn these types of questions that's how many foot candles of illumination is recommended for severe and prolonged visual tasks such as fine engraving and discrimination and inspection of fine details of low contracts the value of foot candles are 50 which of the following grounding system is also referred to as arc suppression coil grounding so this is called a resonant grounding and that system is called peterson coil method okay you can see here uh, that resonant grounding is also known as peterson coil neutral grounding okay or ground fault neutralizer or arc separation coil you can read the points from uh, the screen or you can take a screenshot also this is the peterson coil okay which statements is not true for the synchronous motor so in a synchronous motor we know that that we apply the ac to the stator and dc to the rotor so here the not true statement is option number b because we require the excitation for the rotor but they are saying that no requirement of excitation for rotor which of the following characteristics is not desirable for the dc amplifier so we know that in an amplifier we need high common mode reduction ratio so various points are there like uh, input impedance we have to put high output impedance low voltage gain high cmr rr very low okay so the purpose of wise current is to achieve the ideal behavior in operation amplifier which is high cmrr high differential gain and high input impedance or infinite slew rates so these are the characteristics of the ideal amplifier and some uh, table you have to uh, also revise that uh, character six parameters with the ideal value and the practical value next is which of the following is not one of the addressing mode in 8085 microprocessor see already we see in uh, the 15th march paper that some addressing modes are there like implicit addressing modes okay and uh, direct addressing mode registers in direct addressing mode okay so uh, in the last paper they asked the examples of the addressing modes like uh, the something they asked like uh, cma is used in which addressing mode so implicit addressing mode is the answer in that paper which of the following instrument is used to measure the air gap so we have to measure the air gap okay and we have to find that instrument that instrument is called the feeler gauge and feeler gauges look like this okay 
these are the bladeds these are blades and we measure the ear gap between the rotor and stator of the starter motor which is the non conventional sources of energy any they are asking about the renewable sources of energy okay that is the biogas which of the following is not true for the core type of transformer see uh, we already uh, see the difference between the core type and uh, shell type transformers already that uh, that not true statements for the core type transformer is that coil used are multi layer disc type or sandwich type in a core type transformer we use the coils are bounded in helical layer with different layers insulated from each other on the two limbs okay which of the following is not true for the salient pole rotor when compared to cylindrical rotor okay here is the difference between the salient pole rotor and the cylindrical rotor so we know that non salient pole have the high speed it means the cylindrical rotors have the speed between the 1500 to 3000 rpm and for the salient pole rotor it will be the only 100 to 1500 rpm here is the salient pole rotor and cylindrical rotor is there like in a previous paper also they asked about the this point that large diameter and short axial length for the salient pole rotor used for low speed alternators has no projecting poles need damper windings windage losses are more which of the following devices converts the ac supply of one frequency into an ac supply of different frequency that device is called a cyclo converter that is the definition of cyclo converter <coughs> okay here uh, the they are asking about the stepping angle and we know that that stepping angle is the beta oh and the formula of beta is ns minus nr upon ns into nr into 360 degree what is ns ns is 40 okay and we have to find the okay there is a something is uh, nr is the 40 and ns is 8 into 4 okay because we have to multiply the 8 mean poles with the teeth okay how many teeth are there so 40 minus 32 upon 40 into 32 into 360 degree which will be the answer is 2.25 degree the next question is also the same we have to find the step angle means beta that same formula we will apply also here next is which of the following is true for the earth wire so earth wire protect from the electrical shocks okay okay next question is that a room of 12 meter length and 10 meter breadth is lighted by 15 lamp to a fairly uniform illumination of 100 lumen per meter square calculate the utilization coefficient of the room given that the output of each lamp is 1600 lumens so here is the formula for the utilization factor that total lumens reaching the working plane upon total lumens emitting from source okay what is the total lumen uh, reaching the working plane so we have to take area into illumination okay area into illumination will become the 12000 lumen and total lumens emitting from source is 1600 lumens into how many lamps are there 15 so 1600 into 15 which become the 24000 lumen so 12000 upon 24000 becomes the 0.5 which is the 50% they so as you can see here they are asking about the advantages and disadvantages of the wild field cables okay so the long length are not possible uh, which is possible in the wild field cables that is the disadvantage uh, arrange the type of lamp in ascending order according to average lumens per watt 
so we have to uh, arrange this in, in ascending order so incandescent lamp halogen lamps fluorescent lamp and low pressure sodium lamps okay these is the average lumens per watt according to the ascending order of the lamps so here they are asking about the uh, equation of the amplification factor which is beta we know that beta is ic upon iv and the amplification factor this is called the amplification factor and one term is also there alpha which is the ic upon i okay that is the current gain what types of enclosure is used for motors used for chemical works floor and cement works okay so that enclosure is also called as pipe ventilated so mostly are now theoretical question you can read and read the question and read the answer okay this is the uh, spring control controlling force for the measuring instrument you know that that tc okay that uh, not tc that is td and a deflection torque which is proportional to the current okay and b i a b na sin theta united okay and it has the uniform scale you have to remember this formula because uh, this is the economic voltage formula is used in a transmission line okay we can measure the bend speed with the help of nmo meter nmo meter is a device which measure the bend speed a commutator consists of set of copper segments which are insulated from each other how is the number of segments determined okay so it is a equal to the number of armature coils how we can uh, determine the segments when it becomes the equal to the number of armature coils so they are asking about the primary task of technical department of an organization okay this is uh, related to uh, your uh, carnot engine and you know the formula of efficiency is 1 minus t2 upon t1 next question is also theoretical and they are the relation uh, between the square linkage induction motor and the spiral slip ring induction motor okay so not true they are asking okay and due to the presence of external resistance so we know that external resistance is used in the slip ring not in square linkage they are asking about the hvdc transmission earth leakage circuit breaker is arranged to operate very quickly when so it uh, operates quickly when the extremely low leakage current flows so what you have to do here r equals to rho l upon area okay moderator used in nuclear power plant is the graphite okay you have to identify that which type of given dc link configuration h so here you can see that converters 1 and converter 2 are there and both the system are connected on both the end side so this is called a homopolar link because if one of the section is get damaged or disturbed we can supply the uh, power from the another end so that is called a homopolar link okay here a body is thrown with a velocity of protection 98 meter per second at an angle of 45 degree find the maximum height the the formula for that is height is equals to v not square sin square theta upon 2g so all the values are given that v not square is that sin theta is here and if, and uh, you have to take the value of g is what 
9.8 that is gravitical value okay next is uh, also some theoretical questions are there you can read these values okay okay this question also again uh, repeat from the previous paper what you have to do that series resistance equals to r m into m minus 1 so i already told this question several times so you have to only put the values here okay transducer what is the application of transducer that converts the magnetism to voltage what is the term used for one complete to and from motion and simple harmonic motion that is called the oscillation what happens to the diversity factor so you know the diversity factor that sum of individual maximum demand upon total connected load and the value of the diversity factor is always greater than one and uh, they are asking that what happens to diversity factor when it is connected to the interconnected grid system so we know that uh, if we connected uh, with the interconnected grid system we know that the loads will increase then uh, also the diversity factor increases because the sum of connected load becomes more here uh, they are asking about that again as a relation between the single phase and the three phase like in a previous paper that uh, true and not true what is the function of shunt reactor in a substation so shunt reactor provides the reactive power compensation during low loads okay the, so see that here uh, all are the basics question are there mostly theoretical how many elements are joined to principal node that principal node is the three or th more than three which of the following loads can cause a serious frictional error in an induction type single phase energy meter so that is called the light load so light load we can use uh, can it causes the serious frictional error in an induction type meter because light load is there the free, uh, it affects with the frequency and frequency causes that frictional error so they are asking about the lighting arrestor that lighting arrestor uh, consists of a dividend spark gap in series so that is called a bulk type lightning arrestor what should be the insulin insulation resistance of the high voltage side of the 1600 kva 20 kb by 400 volt three phase transformer at 30 degrees celsius so this question is some kind of difficult for you because uh, that uh, i am writing here okay so here insulation one second okay insulation resistance okay which is the uh, the formula is here c into e upon under root of kva okay that is kva in under root okay uh, what is the c here so c is the uh, we have to take the value of c is 1.5 for oil filled which is present in a oil tank so um, some conditions are there like a correction factor we have to take so what is c uh, for the 30 degree celsius we have to take the uh, value of c is 1.98 okay so 1.98 into the value of e that value of e is here Twenty thousand into one point five 
ओके वन पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइड बाय अंडर रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड व्हिच इज दी फोर्टी सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस पार्ट सो यू विल गेट द फोर्टीन हंड्रेड एटी फाइव मेगा सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज न्यू फॉर यू बिकॉज इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू टेक द वैल्यू एट थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस which is uh, we have to take the temperature correction factor for 30 degree celsius the temperature correction factor is the 1.98 so we multiply the 1.98 and the value of c c is the uh, some value for the oil and it means it means 1.5 for the oil filled okay and the formula for the insulation resistance is c into e upon of under root kba so here we are taking the under root kva so the next question okay next question is that if the two glass sheets used to sandwich the thin rear of the liquid crystal are deposited with transparent electrodes on their inside faces in the liquid crystal shell then it is known as so you can uh, read uh, this question from the anywhere so some question that theoretical questions like uh, peak and current okay so for an scr it means for silicon control rectifier the peak anode current means for a limited time current or for a short duration current that current is known as a surge current reading four section they are asking about the plc okay so input output image memory user memory data memory and executive memories are there next what type of diagram is that the diagram is called as jenner diode next is that breaking capacity of the circuit breaker so breaking capacity equals to rated symmetrical breaking current into rated service voltage into root 3 it means root 3 root 3 into b into i which of the following statement is true for a series circuit in below resonant frequency so that uh, the circuit uh, the true condition is that the capacitor reactance is more than the inductive reactance because they are saying that um, series circuit in below the resonant frequency it means it is they are asking about the condition is less than fr purpose of smps that convert the unregulated dc supply into the regulated dc supply same question they are asking which logic instruction is used in the 8085 microprocessor to complement the contents of accumulator so very simple question is that complementary accumulator means cma and the last is how much load is applied for about 1 minute to each of the insulator during proof load test of insulator so that load is that a 20% in excess of specified maximum working So these are the questions. Sixty questions are there for the first shift in fourteenth March, twenty twenty-two exams of WBSE TCL.